Okay, today is Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. We're at 10261 Creekwood Circle in Plymouth. Uh, we're at a three inch drain line. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, this does pick up the laundry tub <clears throat> and sink for the half bath uh, or the upstairs uh, laundry area. Uh, we have the furnace right behind us. There's a floor drain uh, here where the condensate goes where there was a backup. Josh came out and did a mainline cable. Um, we are going to do a diagnostic televise uh, at this point. Uh, this is a 3 inch uh, ABS drain. Uh, this is on the far side of the house. You can see we have just a slight amount of build up here in the bottom. Uh, it's probably from the laundry. Here you can see we have uh, a tie-in for what we believe is the floor drain. Okay, this tie in here is for there's a stack uh, when you come down the stairs. Uh, and there's an access panel with a wall clean out uh, that would pick up uh, this right here. Okay, as you can see through this area, we do have some buildup in the line. Uh, we also are currently holding some water. Uh, we are running the bottom. We do not have a centering guide, uh, but you can see we have some buildup on the sides of the pipe. And again, you can see here our water gets a little bit deeper. As you can see here, we're currently underwater at this time. Okay, and as you can see here, uh, we're currently out of water. We're going to continue our televise. Uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, locate uh, the areas when we pull back. Okay, we believe where this is where the sewer ties in, uh, and heads towards the front of the house. see we do have some build up on the sides of the pipe here uh, you can see here's where we change over to uh, six inch clay pipe outside uh, we are going to try and see if we can televise uh, from this location <clears throat> see if we can televise all the way out to the city main uh, we believe the main is located on this side of the street Okay, here you can see we have a little bit of calcite buildup from about 9 to 11 o'clock at this joint.
Okay, here you can see it's almost 118 feet uh, from this clean out at the one side of the house all the way to the city main. We will go ahead and continue to record as we pull back. Again, we will pause uh, to locate uh, both the uh, areas where the pipe is holding water. Okay, as you can see when we started pulling back past this fitting, we started getting into a little bit of water. 
Uh, we are going to pause at this time. Uh, we're going to bring our locator down and we're going to put a tape mark uh, on the floor where this is located. And then it, it creates a dam. Yes. Okay, we have marked this uh, on the carpet. Um, as you can see, we're right past the fitting where it turns um, and it pretty much comes in a straight line towards the utility room. We are going to go ahead and continue to pull back. Um, you will see that our camera goes underwater again. Um, and once we get out of the water, uh, we will make a second mark. Okay, we're going to pause to mark uh, this area as well to give us an idea of the length. Uh, as you've seen on the camera, there is a lot of buildup on the top of the pipe uh, in the area that's holding water uh, due to all of the uh, fats, oils, and greases and everything sit on the top of the water line. So they will build up from the top and work their way down and eventually cause the drain to want to back up. Okay, we have located this upstream. Uh, this is <clears throat> basically where the start of the belly would be. It's approximately 20 to 25 feet. Uh, it is in the carpeted area of the main room of the basement. Uh, there are a couple of options uh, available. One is uh, maintenance. Uh, number one, it would be to jet and clear everything and all the buildup in the pipe uh, and then use an enzyme for maintenance. Uh, <clears throat> it would leave the possibility for a backup from time to time. Um, it would hard to say at what interval. Uh, permanent repair is uh, breaking up the floor and excavating out the pipe and actually replacing and rebedding uh, the section with the belly. As you can see right here, this is the uh, tie-in that's for the clean-out in the wall. Uh, here, as you can see, we do have a flow coming from that. Uh, we will continue to record uh, as we pull back This will conclude the recording uh, of the underground and the outside sewer.